Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kyle Dittman here, Bullion RV, and the wait is over for us. It could be over for you. We just got it in. It's a brand new 2024 uh, Winnebago View, the 24D. We ordered this back in 2021 and it just got here. So we're super excited. So I get the opportunity to walk you around this unit. It's the first new one we've seen in a really long time. We've had about one used one since then. So really excited about this one. So we'll get you on the outside. We'll get you inside and we'll see what you think. Starting right up front. It's gonna be on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis here. So a lot of really great features coming along with that. A um, couple things I want you to notice, like the one piece uh, fiberglass front cap that's gonna wrap all around, no seams right up front, really looks clean and sleek. Um, just kind of, you can just tell from Winnebago, that's just a great look and you know, just really, really nice. We'll kind of wrap here on the back side. We got a fish house on the, on the camp side. So we'll get you over here. On the driver's side, you're gonna notice a nice little step up. Each of them are gonna have these little tie downs. So, you know, if you got your little fur buddy with you, tie them down at the campsite. A lot of them all want you on them on a, all the campsites want them on a leash and all that good stuff. So having that tie down there. Uh, nice little step ups to get up into the rig. As you can see, we got one of the chairs turned around. They do both swivel, but we I just did one just kind of for the video to show you there. Power seats on the passenger and the driver, which is really great. Typically it's just the driver's side getting the power seat. They give it to you on both. Uh, one slide on this unit is going to have the table and the Murphy bed in it. Slide toppers on there like usual. <laughs> Propane right on board. Right behind that is going to be some storage that does pass through to the other side a little bit. Um, some, some longer skinnier items kind of throw them on top, pass them through there. With bullion here, we fill the gas tank, we fill the propane tanks, we'll give you a full orientation. Family owned business going on 70 years next year in 2024, so that's huge. We've been here, we're gonna be here, we're gonna take care of you. All one stop shop. You got your gravity freshwater fill with the overflow spout right here on this unit. Also notice the full body paint, just really looks sleek, it's really gonna hold up. Um, in the elements, it's going to clean up really nicely and I can get that fade or the peel of the, any of the graphics. So in the back, you got your uh, water system and your power cable right back here. Pull drains are all inside on the smaller units, a little tighter, but it is all there for you. All easy to go. You do have a um, hot and cold shower outside as well. So spraying off you guys, the gear, the kids, the dogs, the toys, anything, leave all that dirt outside. Um, also back here, you do have a black tank flush on this unit as well. Backup camera, because this is got a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds. It's got the appropriate hookups for everything you're gonna need. So towing a little vehicle behind, maybe a golf cart, maybe a small side-by-side, -side, wheelers, motorcycles, anything you want. Ladder to the fully walkable fiberglass roof up there. Make sure your seals are good. Having a ladder on board is really nice. You see those people with their ladders strapped down to the back of their unit or tied in somewhere. Just having it on board, just one less thing to worry about. On the campsite here, you're gonna notice a few storage bins. Um, you got one right up top here. Throw some gear in that guy. That's gonna be right under like the bathroom. More storage down here. This is a rotocast, so it's gonna be a plastic. Um, you're not gonna get any rot, mold, mildew, rust, anything like that. Easy to wipe down clean if you're throwing your dirtier gear in there. You got your LP generator on board. So it's gonna be really nice to be able to run all your whole rig for you. And then right below that, you got your LP quick connect. So turning this area into a really nice uh, outdoor grill space, entertainment space is gonna be really great for you guys. Winnebago's been doing it for a while now, but uh, working with Truma. So you got the Truma AquaGo on here. Um, so the folks that know about that, this is a really great system from overseas, just really highly sought after, very efficient, um, really, really nice system to have on the unit. You got the armless awning on this rig uh, with a nice LED strip. We got the fish house really close because here in Minnesota, 
ice is, the lakes are turning into ice, fish house season is here, so we're getting those all prepped and ready. So it's a little close, this awning does come out a little further. Um, but I wanna put it back in just to kind of show you the cool stuff. Push a button, the awning goes in all by itself. If I wanted to stop it halfway or any, you know, coming halfway out or going halfway in, you can push a button and stop it. It does have a wind sensor on it as well. So if you needed, if you're out and it's getting windy, that'll just draw back in so nothing breaks. Once it pulls in, I want you to see how it kind of just fades away with the unit. I'll turn that light off under, how it kind of just fades away with the unit up there. So, you know, you don't have the arms coming down, it's not coming off the rig, it just kind of blends in, looks like part of the roof, looks, it makes it look really nice. Has the same paint to match the side of the rig, so I really like that. I wish you guys could feel this, you're just gonna have to give me a call, 218-740-4964, shoot me a text. Heavy, heavy door. So once this is closed, going down the road, it's not gonna be shaking, making any road noise for you. Um, but yeah, so if you guys could really kind of feel that, the, the weight of the store. Winnebago does a great job. One thing I love about Winnebago is they manufacture and put together these things in-house. So from the cabinetries to the seamstress to bending and pulling the aluminum, electro dip and everything, just do a really great job in-house creating, you know, not having to worry about vendors and getting stuff. It's just all made in-house. You have this rig for 20 years, you need a part, you call Winnebago, there's stickers in here, they can get parts to you. Really like that. Again, up front, passenger side's got the same step up with the same tie downs on it as well. Just kind of wanted to point that out for you there. So we'll swing inside. As you notice too, you got a nice scare light right out front. Grab handle as you're walking in. So this will be great for coming in and out. Chassis batteries are gonna live right under these stairs as you walk in. Also, you got your battery disconnect, your awning controls, lights, steps on and off, coach battery, all that stuff is here. Also notice the under lighting under the cabinetries. So that was gonna be really great for you as well. On a smaller rig like this, you got um, the auto level system on it. Most of these small C-classes don't have that. So you're pulling up on blocks and trying to do that. So that's a really nice, cool feature with the view. So coming on in, like I said, this is kind of, for what it is and how small it is, it will sleep quite a bit of people. Um, you got the bunk over the cab up here. It's not the biggest bunk, but you can get probably a two adults up there, you know, for a couple nights stay. Um, again, unless they're helping you pay the bills and everything like that, this will be good enough for me. If claustrophobia is a thing and you feel a little too tight, this does drop down into a sleeper then as well. Uh, when you're going down the road, you can move this piece out. It's just all wrapped up. Like I said, I just got here, so we just want to keep it as clean as possible. But you can move that out of the way to give you this extra headspace. So if you need to pop back here, you know, jump into the bathroom, grab a beverage, a little snack out of the fridge. Cool thing with motorhomes is everything's all contained in here and you're really only pulling over to get gas. You never have to stop, get 20 minutes on the road and somebody raises their hand saying, I gotta go back to the bathroom again. And then you gotta find a, a pull off, you know, maybe you're on a turnpike or on a, on a highway and you know, it's not gonna have anything for a hundred miles. And so having this ability to do that's great. Um, right up in the cockpit, we'll kind of start up here. Again, when you turn the seat around, you do got these seat risers. Otherwise, you're going to be really low because you do have a spot to put a nice little coffee table, have your morning coffee, be part of the team, do that stuff. But like I said, when you spin around, you're going to notice a lot of stuff up here. I mean, Mercedes is giving you everything. All the controls are going to be right on the steering wheel there for the driver. Nice big screen here. Apple CarPlay. If you're an Android user, I'm sorry, but they do have that for you too. <laughs> um, all your plugins, USB-C is all up there. So again, if you're old school, have the old school plugs on the USB. Um, let's see if this is a USB, nope. So this does have a 12 volt, so you can buy one of those probably USB plugs from a gas station or something, but they have the USB-C plugs. Um, just kind of storage everywhere up here. Um, little cup holders right up top, easy to get at. Dual size cup holders down here. Now a lot of energy drinks, you know, your Red Bulls, your bubblers, um, 
I mean, shoot, cut little, little 16 ounce coffees. Those little cans can all fit here. You got your bigger tumblers for your water bottles, things like that. The dual sizes here. You also got spots on the door. So, I mean, there, you can be just fully loaded with all your beverages, like I said, really only pulling over to stop to get gas. So, all the plugs up here, all these storage spaces are all gonna be awesome. Right above, you got little storage, maybe tuck some maps, favorite campsites you've been to, state parks you're going to. Save your ticket if you're going through the toll booth, tuck those up there so they don't blow out the window while you're cruising down the road. All your lights and everything are gonna be right here for you, let's see. Um, like I said, power seats up here in the front. Uh, this U-shaped dinette, really like this. So under each one, they're all gonna be empty spaces. They all have seat belts under the two sides. So again, buckling up the team while you're going down the road for safety, that's number one. Uh, but all those seats will pull up. And as you noticed, I can just pull up on the seat. I don't have to pull a cushion off to pull a board off to then get at the, all the storage. You just pop it up. And that does it all the way around on all three of the seats. So that's really great. Slide open big windows. If you're chilling on the, you know, you're sitting here. A lot of people like to put their feet up, sit back. I mean, the TV's right there. So what better place to recline? Maybe play some cards, have a cup of coffee in the morning, chilling here, having your family, your friends all around you, kicking your feet up. I want to go camping in this thing myself right now. <laughs> um, this is great. Uh, little push puck lights. So you can kind of customize that. Um, all these cabinets are going to be locked down. So when you're going down the road, they're going to be locked down. Just a little push button to open them up. They're all going to be opened up, all hidden hinges. They all have a little light. I don't know if you can see that, but the light up top does kind of bleed through into the back. So it gives you a little light up into there for when you kind of need to see things later at night. No, pop one of these down. Super simple. Just little pull triggers on each end. Pop it right down. Really easy to use. I really like that. Like I said, notice the under lighting. I mean, it comes all the way from the front. You got all the way through the kitchen, even spreads up into the bathroom under the kitchen sink. So a lot of really great night lighting. In the view, touch the ceiling, just like your diesel class. I mean, the soft ceiling to help with the road noise going down the road, it just makes it look a lot nicer, a lot easier to clean, really just wipe that down. So really like that. You got the MCD blackout shades. Um, you got the day and night shades here and the blackout shades. So again, with the view, it's just that next, you know, next uh, trim package, so to say, giving you all the little extra bells and whistles above and beyond that some of those folks are looking for. You got little plugs. So what we got, I got a 12 volt and USB right up under here too. So if you're sitting here um, having those guys one AC unit in this is going to be plenty enough to keep it really nice and cool, blast this whole thing down. It is ducted throughout the entire space, so it is that Coleman Mock, so really nice quiet one as well. Again, like I said, TV here, Insignia TV, JBL soundbar in here, so with this little space, that's going to be plenty to really make it fun. Turn on your favorite tunes, your favorite show, movie night, you got that going for you. Storage. Um, I mean, they even throw in like these little um, carpeting kind of noise canceling deals. So when you're going down the road, if you got your totes or anything in here, holding all your gear, that's not bumping around over the wood, really help with the noise there. Uh, two basin sink with sink covers. And then on the back side, you can flip those over and use both of them as cutting boards if you really wanted to. So love that. Pull down sink faucet. Whoop, again. It is winterized. It just got here, Minnesota. We got snow on the ground. Like I said, we're turning lakes into ice. Um, so having the pull down faucet just makes it feel again really residential. Folds out of the way for the extra room. Um, really like that. Convection microwave. It is a little lower, but I'd rather have it down here than way up top. So um, it is really nice. Below that, 
Again, storage, you can see that light kind of coming through on the bottom there. Just big storage drawers everywhere. Again, we'll see if you can see that on the video. Um, soft close on all the doors, it's gonna be great. More storage. You also got holding tank heaters in this rig here. So in Minnesota, we, you know, more of a three season up here. You know, you go south, you go, I mean, the motorhome is really meant to chase the sun, right? But if you are camping in some of the cooler temperatures or if you're, you know, you're in Texas and it drops to cooler temperatures one day, you got tank heater pads to kind of get you through the night and get you rolling again. Hopefully the next day is not as cold. That's the whole purpose of heading south. You got a two burner cooktop style. So one is going to be gas and then one is going to be the induction. I like that too. If you are doing uh, mountain camping or higher elevation camping, sometimes that propane will kind of shrink up, not be as powerful. So you'd almost be running your propane on high, but it, it's like it's, it's like on low. So having the induction cooktop is not really going to mess. And then you also just need those certain pans. If you did have little ones or anything like that with you, if you take that pan off, you can touch this. So having that nice little safety feature there is kind of cool. So much to going on. I'll just kind of keep looking around. Um, some of these buttons for the slide outs and like the bed are in a little goofy places. Um, that's one thing I wish that they might have done a little better to put them in a little more convenient spot. But I understand sometimes with wires and how they build these things where plumbing is and how it just is, it's just smart to do things like that. So your slide out room is right up here along with like your solar panels and controllers to kind of see what's going on with your battery. All that stuff is in one location up here. Right below that, I mean, your refrigerator, big enough fridge to fit enough food in here. And if it ever starts getting low, you just run and get some more fresh food. I let you know, nothing worse than having a big fridge, filling it up and throwing half it away. That kind of sucks. So, especially when you're traveling, you want to hit those new foodie places, places you've been seeing that, you know, you just can't get to or the reason that you went there or the locals are telling you to go to. So... You know, a smaller fridge for that is, isn't too bad. The bed here, uh, like I said, is it's a Murphy bed. You got power on both sides of the Murphy bed. Um, just got to pop these guys off and move them. And like I said, it's kind of in a goofy spot. So the Murphy bed button is in the bathroom. We'll pop these down. So all you got to do is just pull these legs down. Murphy bed button. I mean, watch the speed of this thing. It does kind of go fast, so kind of just give it a little help for when it gets down so it doesn't just smash down. But um, cool thing with this Murphy bed is most of them kind of fold in half. Your fold isn't up here until like, like, you know, like by your pillows. So it's really not going to affect the sleeping aspect of it. So I really like that. Nice soft headboard. You know, almost like a little nightstand on the side. You, know, you can just tuck your device there. Each one of you guys are going to have the blue and white lights for reading. That's gonna be on either side. And then as you notice, when I drop down this Murphy bed, not only do you expose a window um, with the blackout shade on it to give you maybe some ventilation and airflow, but you're gonna have some storage up top as well. So we'll pop the bed back up here, kind of show you guys how easy that is. Just push a button bed goes up quick. I know sometimes with the Murphy beds, you know, people are saying, ah, I just don't want to put the bed up and down every single time. But with this one, it's pretty slick. Again, it's these same push buttons that are on the foot for the couch. Just push this guy right in, fold this leg in. Boom. Super simple. Get the cushions, put them back on here. Now you're back to max seating and heading down the road. So it's not too bad. I mean, I feel like I could almost just leave the bed made, you know, dropping the bed down. It's, it's just gonna be really easy for you. Let's see, um, up under here, storage. I guess I should have checked this out earlier. Uh, so this is gonna be a spot to store uh, the window guards. So when you are parked for multiple days and you wanna kinda have some privacy over the front windows and side windows, that's gonna be there. And then a nice little access panel to your water pump. So easy to get at right down there as well. 
And then if you wanted to, while this table's, you know, while this is into the couch, you can pop that table here that's gonna be up front so you can kind of pick which side you wanna have it on. Heading back into the bathroom. Bathroom's a little smaller, but it is still a dry bath, so I really like that. I like how this cabinet almost just blends right into the wall. You can't really tell unless you got this push button here. So opening this up, gonna give you a lot of wardrobe space in here. I can grab that too and kind of show you. It's a little tight. So you have some wardrobe space, a nice hanging cabinet, um, all that stuff in here. This is where that table is gonna live. So nice little spot here in the bathroom. I like how all the cabinets, even like the medicine cabinet, all has that push button lock down. So medicine cabinet in here, a nice fan to eliminate any of the smells. Because this window is more just for viewing. You can't really open it to get any airflow or anything. So um, nice to have the fan in here. It's going to have a porcelain toilet. No, nope. no, I lied. Sorry, Winnebago. That one, it looked porcelain, but the plastic toilet. More storage up under the sink. Decent sized sink in this bathroom. I can get both my hands in here, get them clean, do their thing. Toilet paper holder out of the way. Pocket door on the bathroom so that's not swinging into anybody. Really like that. We'll pop in the shower. I mean, it's tight. I'm a bigger guy. Not very tall. You could take this bar out, but this is another hanging bar. So if you're going somewhere fancy, you got dresses, you got suits, uh, maybe you're down at the beach, you want to hang some towels or your swimsuits and drip dry them into the shower. This is a great spot for that. It does have a dome over the top to kind of give you taller folks a little bit more um, headroom in here so you're not crunched over. Um, but like I said, it is tight, but you are in a camper. Some campgrounds are going to have really nice shower facilities. If they don't, I can guarantee you'll be coming out of this shower better smelling than what you went in. So that is the accomplishments right there. And then you got a lot of stuff just hides, but you got pantries um, right next. I'm going to kind of get out of the bathroom uh, right here too. pull out drawers to get at all your gear. Really nice drawer slides. And then the bottom is going to have a little bit more storage. And then this is where like your fuse box and breakers and all that stuff is going to be. So like I said, I really like how all of them just lock down. You're not going to worry about any of your stuff inside sliding forward, falling out while you're going down the road. Winnebago does a great job. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm super excited. We just got this here, ordered it in 2021, just arrived. We're lucky to have it. You could be lucky to make it yours if you want to do that. Again, my name is Kyle Dittman. I'd love to work with you guys. Shoot me a text. Shoot me a call. Hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel. We're trying to grow it all the time. Make these videos for you guys. My number is 218-740-4964. Like I said, I'm open to calls, texts. Uh, Charlie will put my email on there. Any way you like to contact, get a hold of me anytime, day or night. I'm here for you guys. We'll respond. We're here to help you out. Bullion RV, like I said, is going on 70 years of business next year, which is huge. Uh, we're a mile away from the airport. So with this motorhome, anywhere you're coming from, you fly in, we'll pick you up. This thing will be full of gas. We're going to get you a full orientation, full propane, get you set, let you hit the road, get out camping. What better way to start than here at Bullion RV? So like I said, give me a call. Kyle Dittman, love to help you out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.